Hey guys, it is Sunday and uh, looking pretty cloudy and windy out here. I was thinking it should be a pretty uh, busy day, right? You know, cold and bad weather-ish. And uh, things started promising enough, I guess. $7 Starbucks delivery, not too far, just over to Bay Street. But it uh, got kind of quiet over here. And I'm noticing a lot of uh, marathon running kind of people. You know, I'm seeing people with like gold medals or something. So, kind of wanted to check that out. And uh, yeah, there was that marathon today. <laughs> I'm sure it's like a charity marathon, raising money for something. But uh, yeah, I'd seen the signs around town saying that certain streets would be closed. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm kind of already, like, past when that uh, happened at Long Bathurst. So, I didn't even notice when I left today. But, uh, this looks like the end of the marathon. I can see people still running in. That's pretty cool. And as people are coming in, there's, like, a, an announcer or somebody, a DJ, I guess. He's, like, reading the bibs and, like... You know, saying their names and where they're from. It's kind of fun. That's probably uh, pretty cool if you were like doing a marathon and then the DJ guy's like, Here comes Stephanie from Toronto. <laughs> a lot of people from Toronto in this marathon. What a surprise. But uh, I think I heard somebody from like Britain was crossing the finish line. That's cool. And uh, yeah. Just a lot of people in Nathan Phillips Square right now. So, after having a good look around, I decided to leave this area. <laughs> and uh, I was online the entire time that I uh, was checking that out. And I wasn't getting any requests. I figured, you know, there's so many marathon people downtown, like, maybe they're visiting the restaurants after doing their run, and so busy that the restaurants are going offline on uber so they can take care of their in-person customers yeah maybe although i'm sure most restaurants would never miss out on the opportunity to make more money potentially i don't know but uh yeah i rode uh, west until i didn't see uh, too many marathon people hung out around king and strong Eventually I got a request at like Queen and Strong, this uh, bake shop, and uh, yeah, gonna go deliver some baked goods to 400 Dufferin. They finally put numbers on the door here, so I can like know that I'm in the right building, because the building next to it is 410, and it didn't have numbers on it for a long time, so it was just a whole thing with me, I guess, I don't know. They fixed it. So yeah, I picked up some bubble tea, as well as some other baked goods, and uh, yeah, gonna go deliver that. We've got some light rain right now for pretty much the entire time that I was biking around. I thought I'd be uh, getting better requests and stuff, but there is some downtime between uh, deliveries. Oh, yeah, and this person delivering to 304, their note says to buzz 308 to get in. So, I do Buzz 308, and these people are like, I do not know what the fuck you're talking about. And then I Buzz 304, and the person's like, yeah, sorry about that. Which, uh, well, I don't know, you know? I guess 8 and 4 are close together. Maybe they just mistyped it, you know? Fat fingers. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. After that, kind of just riding towards home. And, yeah, you can see how wet it is. Got a request. $11 for a 5km delivery. That's no good. So, not taking that. And, uh, just before I went offline, got a $7 odd burger request. Only 2 kilometers. It's like, yeah, you know. It is raining, so I was hoping it'd be better, but, like, it's not that bad. So, I went and did that. The only downside is the Odd Burger can't afford cans of pop, I guess, so it's just a loose can of 
or a cup of cola in my <laughs> backpack. Luckily it didn't spill. I mean like they got that little piece of tape. The hero tape. <laughs> yeah. Jack Skellington? Whoa, that's crazy. I gotta take a note of that because uh be nice to do another Halloween display video where I just like bike around and get a good compilation going. So yeah, I went offline and uh, went to the No Frills since I was in the area. And uh, they had the Italian meatballs that I like as well as the Swedish meatballs that were okay. They're not as good. Just wanted to make sure that they're the same amount for $10. Not sure why the Italian ones have like such a big air bag, but yeah. And I thought about getting some chicken. I was gonna, I wanted like chicken thighs, but they didn't have any like in a small amount. But what they did have was the tortilla chips that I love. I'm like, oh yeah, give me this great value of tortilla chips. Yeah, fifty two cents per hundred grams. Whereas you look at these Tostitos, a dollar fifty-six per hundred grams. That's like more than three times as much price. Like that's crazy. What a scam! And uh, I was thinking I needed some salsa, but uh, their big salsa didn't seem that worth it. It was like twelve dollars for a liter and a half of salsa. Something seemed wrong about that, so I just got a small one. It was on sale and uh, yeah going home now and gonna make some nachos I'm excited to eat those Tostitos <laughs> Tostillas <laughs> yeah made about 50 bucks today after um, gonna eat these nachos I'm not going back out but uh, yeah I realized I didn't have onions or green peppers for these nachos so um I grabbed that as well as I found a little succulent leaf at the door I was like oh that's cool free leaf right and then I got some chicken thighs cuz you know three bucks it's a small package that's nacho sized and uh, yeah the Italian meatballs here it's only 1.2 kilograms for the same price that's not worth it also got some sausages that were marked down they freeze pretty all right, so that'll be good. And the salsa here is ten dollars for the big bottle, and it's one point eight nine liters. That's a better value. Like, what are you? What are you thinking, no for us? This salsa nonsense. Anyways, just walking home now. The guy in front of me was vaping, and the guy that started crossing the street earlier in this clip. He was freaking out about it. I was like, holy shit. Is there going to be a big fight over here? There wasn't, though. So, yeah. Just uh, coming back home now. This is where some trees used to be. They got cut, though. And, uh, yeah. Neighbors filling up this trash can instantly. That's really annoying. You know, it'd be nice if I could throw out some trash at some point. And uh, yeah, put that succulent in a little thing of dirt. Apparently it's got everything it needs in that one leaf to just start growing another plant. Where like those little roots are. So hopefully that works out. And I made those nachos and watched some Detective Conan. One Truth Prevails. Woo! What a show. <laughs>